Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Veterans Memorial Stadium for another QA TV presentation of high school sports. Today we have the North Quincy Red Raiders and the Quincy Presidents uh, in a girls soccer match here at the stadium. And uh, we're about a minute away from kickoff. Uh, both teams are coached by first year coaches, uh, North Quincy by uh, Devin McKay and Quincy High School by Bridget Coleman. Interestingly enough, both girls, both women, uh, played soccer at North Quincy High School and were captains uh, for their respective teams, uh, playing uh, for me, and uh, were great players there. Um, so it should be an interesting match between these two teams, uh, and there should be some familiarity with uh, what each of the others is going to do. Uh, it looks like uh, Quincy's starting off on a flat back um, with four across the back and they have the kickoff. Ball goes over to uh, Amelia Henry, uh, captain, and she plays it wide over to number 22, um, Kira Golden. Kira, a freshman. Uh, daughter of Steve Golden. Steve Golden, uh, played uh, soccer at North Quincy High School again for me and this is Paul Bergoli um, back in the early 90s uh, I was an outside midfielder we're about a minute in again the restarts are from the side no throw-ins a uh, nice cutback by number 25 Alex Abrahamovich who has moved to midfield today um, Good solid player. She's been playing outside mid, uh, but uh, Coach McKay feels that she's going to be more effective in the midfield, get more touches. Person to watch for up front uh, in the midfield is uh, Kira Henry. Ball out wide. Nice cutback, number 13. Lauren Medeiros. Taken away by. Charlotte, uh, Melanie Cretion. There's a giveaway, and there's Abrahamovich knocking it wide, not a play. Beautiful day here. It's about 68 degrees, no wind, um, just perfect conditions for a soccer match. McAlevey gets the ball over to Pitta. The three is Aisling Kelly. And here comes. Oh, a nice save. Nice bid by number 16 for North Quincy. And she's not on the roster. She, apologies. There's a corner. Henry controls. Nice run here. Number 23, Catherine Shaughnessy, another captain. It's the ball with a 16, Isabella Hanley. Nice run by 13, going to the corner. Plays it back, nice one touch. 13 is Lauren Medeiros. Looks like a shot on goal here. And ball's knocked wide by number two, Mary Beth Smith. That might have been Kira Murphy who broke in. Uh, I thought it was 16, but uh, it's uh, she's number six on our program. Again, no ball, no ball girls, no ball boys. And ball played into 18, back wide. North pulls up. Little chip shot. Jamie Shaughnessy gets her foot on the ball. Ball into Victoria Tallarico, senior keeper for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Nice punt wide. And that's to Teresa Sheedy. 
Sheedy had two goals against Plymouth South. Number 11, Caroline Campbell. Also a uh, basketball player for the Presidents. They're these two teams are pretty evenly matched. Quincy controlling play in the offensive uh, third of the field right now. And there's a push from behind. It's pretty pretty difficult to call that because uh, kids are used to going shoulder to shoulder and that um, would be not be a foul in uh, under normal circumstances. Kira Golden plays it back. Looking for Henry. And there is number eight, Fiona Smith. Over to 18 here, that's Casey Pettigrew Lynch for Quincy. 16 is Isabella Hanley. And it's taken away by number three, Paige Grippy. Paige, a freshman. Strong player. Looks like she's moved out to outside left mid from her outside right mid spot. Nice give and go here. Nice, nice change of speed. And that ball is played off of the Quincy High player. Try to get the number of that player for North. I think it was number 18, Melanie Cretion, and it was. It is Pitta, strong player. Ball's out of bounds, and it'll be President's ball on the side. About six minutes in, first quarter, no score. Ball played down the sideline. Jamie McAlevey plays it off of the president player. It's the ball in the air to number seven. Michaela Kennedy, she's, uh, she's North Quincy sweeper. Back with her there uh, as uh, Mary Beth Smith was playing stopper. Kennedy a senior and uh, Smith a sophomore. And uh, Mary Beth has her sister, Fiona, at outside right back. Take a look at the uh, spacing on the field, and you can see that um, there are so many players, both teams, that uh, nothing can happen. If you look at the sec this side of the field, as you're watching your TV, there's nobody over here. I'm sure the coaches will point that out if they uh, when they see the film. First to the ball. There's the ball into Pitta. Pitta off to the races. And that ball is played by Gianna Gaterna off the sideline. Nice play. And that ball is played off of Grippy. Again, spacing is an issue over there. Nice cut back. Kira Golden, number 22. 13, Laura Medeiros. And that's going to be off the Red Raiders. And uh, looks like it's a foul. Coach McKay questioning the official as to what the call is. Eleven fifty-three left in the first half, first quarter. I'm sorry. Ball knocked down nicely, and Pitt lets it run out of bounds, and it's going to be President Ball, far sideline. Pitt has been moved to forward, number 20. Good, strong player. Strong shot. North has had the better of the scoring opportunities where uh, Karen Murphy had a break in 
um, that was thwarted by the, the presidents. Nice pass back. Top of the 18, looks for a shot. Number 22. She, she should be keep the ball right there. Here comes Kira Murphy, sophomore. Plays it up to Pitter. Off her foot. Murphy contests. Nice, nice uh, close out by Pitta. Fiona Smith can't quite get the ball. Number 18, Casey Pettigrew Lynch is going to put the ball in play. Lynch is Fiona Smith. Battling number 11, Mandy Gola. I'm sorry, number 11, Caroline Campbell. Nice steal by McAlevey. And she's a lot of space to work with here. And nice defensive play by the president, middle back. Fiona Smith looking to turn it upfield. Cut off by Caroline Campbell. And Kennedy does a nice job playing the ball out. Ball played wide. Melanie Cretion plays the ball out of bounds and it'll be uh, President's ball. Halfway through the first quarter. No score here. That's a dangerous play. That's a dangerous ball right there. Communication has to be better in the back there. And we have a substitution. And coming out is Grippy. And I believe she's um, replaced by either Avery Abramovich or Jamie Collins. I'm not sure. Can't see that far. Number 21. Great speed. That's Maddie Powers. Maddie Powers, a sophomore midfielder, showing great speed. That was the substitution. 14 for the president's Grace Akara. And I think she's replacing Caroline Campbell in the uh, president's lineup. Lindsay Hatfield to put the ball in play. Nice step up. Looked like a push from behind. It was. Alex Abrahamovich got pushed from behind. So this is a free kick for the Red Raiders. Number two, Mary Beth Smith is going to take it. And maybe she's not. That's close to being a handball. Ball in the middle. Dangerous. Nice out by the uh, number 14, Grace Akara, just in the game. McAlevey, number 22 for is Kira Golden. Golden plays it down the sideline. Nice job of containment by number two. And that ball is going to be a corner kick. Mary Beth Smith, uh, Smith did a nice job of containing. Uh, the run by the, the president uh, forward. Played back. Look for a shot here. Nothing. Is Kira, Kira Murphy. Number 23 here is uh, Catherine Shaughnessy and saved by Tallarico. Pretty routine. Nice punt out by... Fiona Smith, first to the ball. And Kara Murphy. Isabella Hanley, number 16. Plays the ball up the middle. Nice out by Michaela Kennedy. That's Jamie Collins over there, number 20. I'm sorry, that's Maddie Powers, number 21. Outside left mid. Another whistle. Sound to resemble uh, girls lacrosse. People who put these rules together probably never played the game. Hey, 
Well, Quincy holding the 18. Man marking and uh, Kennedy's freed up at uh, sweeper. There's Murphy. Nice pass. Nice one two. Looking for Pitta. Pass back to McAlevey and there's an out by Kennedy. They can get that over the top to, the, to a hot forward eye. Uh, they'll break in on that. Or they can dribble through the flat back. One of the two. It's going to be a white uh, inbound. There's Pitta. Plays it back to Smith. Smith looking for McAlevey. McAlevey has it. Over to Pitta. Pitta looking for Murphy on the right side. And the ball played out of bounds, and it's going to be off Kara Murphy. About five minutes to go in the first quarter. No score. Number 18, Casey Pettigrew Lynch. Plays it out. Ball played across. A lot of space over there. And that ball looks like it's going to be off of Powers. Be a goal kick for Quincy. Can't head the ball. Uh, whoever played that ball just chested it down. Nice, nice uh, side volley. Nice ball into the area, and it's going to be who's going to get there first is um, Teresa Sheedy putting some pressure on the uh, middle back for Quincy. 4.13 left to go in the first quarter. North seems to have gained some momentum. Nice run by McAlevey to the corner, and the ball off her foot. Into the game for the Quincy Presidents is number 15, Caroline Tracy. Carolina sophomore. Ball in the net. Jamie McAlevey. Keep just a little bit too far off her line, and McAlevey picked the far corner, and uh, nothing the keeper could do about that. Perfectly placed shot. Gives North Quincy a 1-0 lead with 3.34 to go in the first quarter. Oh, nice play by number 22. That's Kira Golden, nice little player. Ball into the area, it's a goal! See if I can get the number of the, of the shooter. It's one of the forwards. Um, Boy, that was a quick answer by Quincy. Number 13 was the goal scorer, Lauren Medeiros. Lauren a senior. Nice ball wide. Kara Murphy tracking back. Nice job. Nice one two in the middle there. Nice step up. Ball to Sheedy. Sheedy. It's the ball forward looking for Pitta. And the keep comes off her line. Plays it with her feet. And there's Medeiros, the Quincy High goal scorer. And there's Jamie McAlevey, the North Quincy goal scorer. Right in the middle of things. Here's Tracy. Kara Murphy takes it away. Has Murphy on a split. Quincy keeper is way off her line. I don't know how that referee called that. He is uh, at the 40-yard line. 
way down the other end of the field. Two minutes to go in the first quarter, 1-1 one, one tie here. North Quincy with a uh, goal of the 334 mark of the period, uh, McAlevey, and then Medeiros an uh, answered with one of her own. Here's a ball into the area. The foot race. Laura Medeiros, dangerous player up front. Nice strike by uh, Tallarico. McAlevey steps up. And nice ball down the sideline. Trying to take on number 12, Emma Lyons. Ball is out of bounds. And we're going to be close to the end of the quarter here. Goal kick and Gianna. Gaterna is going to be taking the goal kick. Senior keeper. Nice ball wide. McAlevey tracks it down. Nice cut back. Ball played in. And it's going to be a race again. Number 12. And Sheedy. 12 again is Emma Lyons. She's a senior. And that's the end of the first quarter. With the score knotted at 1-1. Well played first quarter. North Quincy scoring first, and then uh, Quincy answering with uh, Lauren Medeiros. So here we are, 1-1 at the end of one. Two minutes in between quarters. Uh, the teams do play four quarters. I'm not sure if this is senior day or not, but a lot of uh, signs along the fences for both teams. T tradition uh, the night before uh, or a couple nights before they uh, put uh, the underclassmen to work and uh, make signs for everybody. And uh, they're very creative. And it looks like we're, we're starting to see some students get to the games, which is a nice thing to see. There's supposed to be a, uh, a max out at 100 people. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm reading that correctly, but uh, then again I saw uh, I saw some guidelines where it says 25% of capacity uh, in outside venues. And 25% of this outside venue uh, would probably put the... Uh, capacity up near 500 in terms of people getting in here. And about ready to start the second quarter. There's the horn. Teams will defend the same side. Mary Doherty in the game for um, Quincy High, an outside right back. She's a sophomore. Emma Lyons, number 12, middle back. Outside left back is Katie Pettigrew Lynch. Uh, number 22 in the middle is uh, Kira Golden. 16, the goal scorer. I'm sorry, Isabella Hanley, number 16.
Number 11 out here is Caroline Campbell back in the game. Here's a ball over to McAlevey. McAlevey plays it wide down the sidelines, and it's a foot race. And the ball just runs out. Kara Murphy can't quite catch up to it. North pushing up their outside backs and mid backs. Um, and midfielders uh, up the. Um, nice ball by Fiona Smith. Nice volley. Nice chest volley. Nice cut back by Mary Beth Smith. Here's Fiona Smith. Nice pass back to 18. Nice footwork there by number 18. Can't remember if he can't control. Caroline Campbell battling Fiona Smith. And it'll be uh, President's ball. Uh, a little too much pace on that ball. Difficult, well, difficult one to handle. Fiona Smith has uh, Kennedy. She looks to her left, wide open. McAlevey back to Smith, and she tries to play it over the top. And there's Murphy. Ball played out. The North Quincy ball on a restart. These restarts are indirect as Teresa Sheedy. Abrahamovich gets knocked down. No call. The call is going against Abrahamovich. It's very curious. He's better than Mayfield, honestly. I think I don't know about Mayfield. He's a good he's a good locker room guy, but I mean maybe Cleveland. Lynch almost a steal by Murphy. Does that quite a lot in basketball. A nice step up by Kennedy. Read the play well. It is number 23, long shot. Catherine Shaughnessy and Tallarico handles that one flawlessly. Tallarico out to the 50, and it was touched by Sheedy, so there was no violation. Again, one of these rules where you can't kick the ball, kick the ball with a, over the 50. Nonsensical. Here's Abrahamovich looking for Petta. Oh, almost had 17. Almost had Sheedy on a um, diagonal run. Number four in the game for Quincy is Lindsay Hatfield, along with number six, Myrid Folan. Or Myrid. Good turn to take the goal kick. Nice uh, knocked down by Sheedy. Can't control it. There's Medeiros. Quincy's goal scorer. Nice cutback by Medeiros. A nice through ball looking for number 22. Kira Golden. Golden wins the race, but it goes off her foot. Nice, nicely done by Melanie Cretion to track back. Melanie to put the ball in play. Looks for McAlevey. Looking to play the ball to feet. Nice pass back. Quinn's looking to change the point of attack. Eric Folan gets the ball up front. Ball gets wide. Nice ball in, and that ball is volleyed over the net. Again, the communication in the back line has to be better for the Red Raiders. It just as easily could have been in the back of the net. Tallarico take the goal kick. Fiona Smith looking for Sheedy. Catherine Shaughnessy brings it down. Ball played wide to number 22, Jamie Collins. And Jamie has the ball run out of bounds.
Pass back. Ball over the top, looking for McAlevey. Chests it down. Don't know what that call was. The signers need to know that they need to get their best officials for a Quincy North game. Nice, nice hustle by Sheedy. It's Campbell. Ball taken away by Smith. Up to Murphy. Murphy doesn't win the race here. Fulham does. And ball off of Quincy. Murphy tries to get the ball in play over to number 25. That's Abrahamovich. Alex looking to put the ball in play. Right foot's over to Pitta. Pitta back to Abrahamovich. Over to Smith. In the, in the Pitta. Nice ball cross. Looking for Collins. Ball is kept in by Collins nicely. McAlevey. And ball runs out of bounds. Number two into the game for is Helena Middleton, sophomore. Looks like she is a forward. She replaces number 13, Laura Medeiros. And a substitution for the Red Raiders. Collins comes out. Oh, nice turn there. Nice pressure by number three. Paige Grippy. Nice left foot into the area. Ball is going to run out of bounds. And it's going to be a corner kick for North Quincy. These used to be goal scoring plays, but with the new rules, you can't kick the ball into the area in the air. Don't know why. That should be offside. No call. Here's Sheedy. Ball taken away by number 22. Kira Golden. Nice play. And there's a trip midfield. I mean, Middleton got tripped up there. It is 22. Kira Golden. Mac Lee, which is a little too much touch on that. Ball played nicely wide. Melanie Cretion over to Grippy. Be off of uh, Quincy High. 11.34. Left in the second quarter. We're at 1-1. Both goals scored in the first quarter. Mary Beth Smith gets turned and uh, a nice cover back. As Murphy gets tripped up by her own feet. Trying to make a turn. Fiona Smith. Number six. Folan. Folan on a run. Nice pass outside right. Nice cut back and a nice defensive, nice defensive play by Melanie Cretion. And here comes Paige Grippy. And 23 for Quincy. Covers back. Kept in. Catherine Shaughnessy does a nice job keeping the ball in. And 22 for the Presidents is uh, Kira Golden. Grippy. Looking to change the point of attack. Nice ball wide. Nice one, two in the, and the ball is, stays in play. Nice play. 
by uh, Cretion. Abrahamovich with a great ball. Looking for Grippy. 22 tracks back. That's uh, Kira Golden. Kira's all over the field. She's a good little player. Kara Murphy is going to come out. And she'll be replaced by number five, Jordan Delababa. Number 21 in the game also, Maddie Powers. Nice step up by 18. That's Melanie Cretion. There's Lindsay Hatfield, number four. It's the ball over to number eight. That's Amelia Henry. Nice ball wide. Nice job of closing by Delababa. Nice turn. It's a tough ball where you can't hit it. The ball's bouncing. Chest down. Number six, Folan. Folan, nice cutback. Here comes a shot. And the ball just, just goes wide. Talarico covers that uh, near post. 13 in the game for uh, Quincy is Medeiros. And she's replacing number 20. Courtney O'Brien, Courtney a senior. Tellerico, knocked down by number 23, Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy over to Golden. No turn there, nice defensive play. Here's Paige Grippy. Nice one, two there at the 18. McAlevey, nice turn there by number six. Folan, Folan's played well. Ball wide over to Delababa. And ball runs out. 16 in the game, number 16 for is Isabella Handley. I believe that's Sinead Hanley's sister. Isabella, a senior for the Presidents. Sinead, a very good player for the Red Raiders back in the day. Nice job by Mary Beth Smith to control. And Fiona Smith to do what likewise. Gets the ball to Delababa. It's Folan. Folan in the ball in the middle. There's Medeiros with a pass. She should have been looking to shoot. Here's 14. Nice defensive play over there. Nice save by Talarico. That ball was labeled for the near post by number six, Folan. Just opened her foot up and put it on goal. Folan's a sophomore. Corner kick for the Presidents. Ball to 13, Medeiros. Medeiros plays the ball in the middle. And North Quincy wins the foot race. That's Sheedy playing the ball wide, looking, I'm sorry, that's 21. Powers playing the ball to Sheedy wide. Ball runs out of play. 5.51 to go in the second quarter. No goal scored here, but we were scoreless in the first quarter to the last three and a half minutes, and then two goals were scored. Kayla Kennedy left foots it out. Kayla, senior captain. Ball to Folden. Pitt can't quite get it. Mac Levy, no turn. Played wide. Back to the middle. Well done by uh, Quincy. Ball through ball. 
Michaela Kennedy cleans it up. Here's Sheedy. Nice touch out to uh, Grippy. And Grippy couldn't quite get it over to Pitta. There's a nice change of point of attack. There's Folan. Closed on by Dalababa. Kira Gold, number 22. It's a ball taken away by Melanie Cretion. I'm sorry, by Paige Grippy. And that ball is off of Melanie Cretion's head, which this year is a foul or a penalty. It's an indirect coming in. I don't understand how you can get a virus by the ball hitting your head. No one's been able to explain that one to anybody. At any rate, number eight, uh, Amelia Henry is going to take the free kick. It's an indirect, I believe. There it is. There's the touch. Ten yards, as usual. Yep. Again, the official is uh, reminding everybody you have to get ten yards. Ready to come into the game for... The president's is number 24, Megan McNeil. And Talarico high points out of the air. 321 to go in the second quarter. Game is tied. Grippy knocks it down. Taking on number four, Lindsey Hatfield. Hatfield takes it away. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Hatfield. Marejo Ajavon in the game, number 10. She's also a senior. Along with Megan McNeil. A little fancy footwork down there in the corner. And ball played out nicely. By Emma Lyons. The restart by the Red Raiders. She checking to the ball. Gets on her foot. Plays it back. Ball played in the middle. No one there. And that ball is going to bounce. And the late ball. Smith gets the ball forward. Avery Abrahamovich couldn't quite catch up to that. Number 23. Nice recovery run there by Sheedy. Sheedy's just nonstop. Love the way she plays. Nice tackle. Fair, fair tackle. Left footed into the area. I think that should be keep a ball, but. Here's Fiona Smith. First touch, second touch off the line. Looking for Jordan Delababa. Quincy left foots it back in. Smith. Number 18 for Quincy's Lynch. Pettigrew Lynch. And number 14, Grace Akara. Plays the ball down the line, and it's now off of North Quincy. We are less than two minutes to go in this quarter. Nice play by Avery Abrahamovich. Looked like a handball there, no call. Got a quick restart here. Running out of time. Fiona Smith. Plays the ball forward. Nobody there. Jamie Collins gets to the ball. If you play back to the keeper there. Melanie Cretion does a nice job of turning the ball upfield. Well played to um, Rippy. And there's the whistle that ends the 
first half. And we're tied here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Um, one to one. We will right, we'll be back shortly for second half action in 10 minute inter intermission here at Veterans. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Veterans Memorial Stadium, where we're just about to be in the second half of the Quincy North Quincy girls soccer match, first match of the year between the two squads. Uh, right now we're at 1 1. And uh, all the scoring was done in the last three minutes of the first quarter. Um, Jamie McAlevey found the back of the net from about 25 yards out. Perfectly placed shot to the top corner. And then Lauren Medeiros, uh, about 30 seconds, 40 seconds later, uh, followed up with a, uh, a long shot that found the back of the net for Quincy. And that's where we stand right now at one apiece. Um, Pretty well played first half. Um, I, both teams had their opportunities uh, in the game. And um, defenses uh, for both teams were pretty good. So in this type of game, it's the team that scores the next goal that usually wins. So um, we'll see how both teams come out for the second half, uh, third quarter. They'll be switching ends. That hasn't changed. So on your television screen, Quincy in the blue will be going left to right. And North Quincy in the white will be going right to left. I believe it's Quincy High's kickoff. Laura Medeiros, number 13, will... Uh, do the honors with number 23, Catherine Shaughnessy, both captains. See if they change it up. They've been, most teams have been just playing it back. Keep has been checked. Should get the whistle momentarily, and there it is. Played back to the middle back, number three, Ainsling Kelly. Ball played forward, played back to the keeper. One timer, gets under it a little bit, and ball is off of Quincy High, and Fiona Smith will be putting the ball in play. Now I watched Kevin Mahoney, the AD, clean the ball, it was at midfield. Um, I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, but um, ball's been touched uh, like six times already, so no one's cleaning it after those six touches. Ball goes out of play uh, over the end line. And Tallarico runs it down. And we'll take a goal kick. One minute into the third quarter. Tallarico was senior. Looking to play in college. McLevy and Smith. No lights on yet. Again, a beautiful day here at uh, Veterans Memorial Stadium. Here's Teresa Sheedy. Looking for Avery Pitta. She plays it back. It's actually a nicely played ball by Mary Beth Smith. Nice ball there by Paige Grippy. Changes the point of attack over to Kira Murphy. Kara Murphy tracked by number 18, Casey Pettigrew Lynch. Quick restart for Quincy. Here's uh, Shaughnessy. Ball played forward by looking for Murphy. And ball played off of Murphy. Into number 16. Over to Shaughnessy. Shawnee with some space. Has 13. Medeiros making a nice run. Didn't see her. Nice play by Smith, Fiona Smith. McAlevey, miss hits that. Nice step up there by number 18, Melanie Cretion. Melanie Cretion makes a nice recovery run. And plays the ball wide. It's 
Kira Golden, number 22, with number four, Lindsey Hatfield. Hatfield to put the ball in play. Played back to Hatfield. Back in and played out, left footed. He's got Pitta. Number eight, nice control. And Pitta does a nice job of closing the space up. And we have a substitution in goal. Gianna Gaterna comes in for Hannah McPhail Polisi, who's, who's another senior who started the uh, second half of Quincy. Quincy seems to be just a little bit quicker than North uh, to the ball. And if they keep their forwards high, they probably can take advantage of that. Calarico's going to have the sun in her eyes uh, from right to left in the second half. McAlevey does a nice job. He gets the ball over to Kara Murphy. Murphy keeps it in play, looks for Sheedy. And Sheedy knocks out, of, the Quincy defender knocks out of bounds. There's McAlevey, nice touch. Looks for Abrahamovich. Mary Beth Smith gets to McAlevey. McAlevey plays it wide. Over to Fiona Smith. Kara Murphy knocks it down. Gets bumped off the ball, no call. But it'll be a red rated ball on the sideline. Quick restart for North Quincy. And ball played into Pitta. Pitta dangerous. Here comes the shot. Oh, doesn't quite get there. That's Abrahamovich. Great job of the Quincy High School defenders to get back. North had a nice break there. Here's Sheedy, gets the ball back to McAlevey. Pops it into the corner. Looking for Murphy. Ball is off of the Quincy defender. They restarted here by Fiona Smith. And number 13, Medeiros is high for, um, for Quincy High School. They've got, uh, they, they got two people around there. And that's one of them, Kayla Kennedy. First two. And it's Paige Grippy, nice play off of the Quincy defender. Number four, Lindsay Hatfield. Tight quarters here to put the ball in. Here comes Abrahamovich, nice play. Looking to play the ball left to right, she does. Gets it to McAlevey. McAlevey tackled by Caroline Campbell. There's a split, almost through. Nice knockdown by Melanie Cretion. Looks like a shot. This could be a shot right here. Nice cutback. And Tallarico cuts off the angle and makes a nice easy save off of uh, Catherine Shaughnessy. Quincy first to the ball there. And there's a call it either way on that. Number 18 gets knocked down with number 22. So Golden and um, Cretion. Ball play. Paige Grippy. Lindsay Hatfield. Looking for Kira Golden. Nice ball to the, to the wing. Golden. Abrahamovich. Ball played wide to number 13. And again, Melanie Cretion comes up with a big defensive play. 
Saw her against Plymouth South, and she was outstanding in that game. And she's had a nice game here today. There's a corner kick. Hatfield. Grippy does a nice job of uh, taking time and space away from uh, Laura Medeiros. And here's Hatfield to put the ball in play. Nice pass. Cross. And here comes Calarico with a diving save. A dangerous ball across the middle. None of the North defenders could get their feet on it. Here's McAlevey. Gets it wide to Murphy. Murphy with a nice move, no one to play with. Either play that ball down the wing or you need to change the point of attack. Little bump there, no call. Emma Lyons. I'm sorry, number 22, Kira Golden. Called that name 100 times today. This Hatfield. Nice play by Cretion. Another stellar performer today. Here comes Pitta. Trying to win the race with number eight, Amelia Henry. Nice try for a one-two there in the midfield area. And the ball runs off number 14, Grace Akara's foot. Nice play. Cretion's got, got some speed. She gets to a lot of balls on the uh, outside, uh, on the flank. Pretty difficult to work that side. I'd work the other side if I were Quincy High School. Because you're not going to get it by Cretion. It's Hatfield battling with Grippy. And Grippy wins the battle. Waiting to come in for the um, presidents is Folan who had a great first half. Looking to restart here, there's too much, not enough room here. Is Grippy, great ball over to Murphy. Murphy has some space. Tries to cut it back and she does. No one with her. Midfielders are, are 30, 40 yards behind the play. There's a nice shot on goal. Grippy with a very smart play, seeing that the uh, Quincy High keeper was off her line and uh, just didn't get enough air under the ball. Ball plays off of uh, Grace Akara's uh, shoulder. Of course, that used to be a handball. Melanie Krishna put the ball in play. Ball played long. Mary Beth Smith tries to turn it back upfield. And Hatfield does a nice job. I'm sorry, Medeiros does a nice job of knocking it down. Here's Grippy. Grace Akara plays the ball into the area. Here's Kennedy. Looking for McAlevey. McAlevey gets the turn. Up to Grippy. Grippy should be looking to change the point of attack here. Looking for Pitta. Down the line and it goes out of bounds. And finally, number six, uh, Fulton is able to get in the game. 7.44 left in the third quarter. Ball goes over Mary Beth Smith's head, and she knocks it off of Folan. Left foot's off of Folan. That should be the call. And it, uh, there's a substitute here. Fiona Smith is coming out of the game. And I think it's number four, Lauren Manning, coming in, senior defender.
Again, there's not much space to play short pass when it's all crowded up. That's a great ball. Mary Beth Smith uh, changes the point of attack, gets over to Murphy. She has some space, looking for Teresa Sheedy. Sheedy with a touch. Ball played nicely out by number 12. Emma Lyons. And we have another substitute for the Red Raiders. Official doesn't see it. And here comes Quincy. Two nice plays by Cretion. Three nice plays by Cretion. Is McAlevey left foots it off of the Quincy player. And the ball runs out of bounds. And here comes the substitute for the Red Raiders. Number 25, Abrahamovich, is coming out. And trying to look for the number here. Number 21, Maddie Powers is in the game. Here's Paige Grippy. Grippy scored the goal against Situate uh, as North took a 1 0 lead in that game. Nice ball. Oh, just number three does a great job of reading the play. Ainsley, Aisling Kelly, and uh, not just a half a step behind on on some of the passes. This is a nice change of direction, uh, change of point of attack. This should be the uh, ball for Talarico, right at the top of the area. Soft foots it. Ball off of Powers. Mary Beth Smith running it down. Nice push pull. And ball is going to be a goal kick with 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Score still tied at 1. 22 for uh, Quincy. Kira Golden is coming back in the game. And she replaces Caroline Campbell, number 11. There's McAlevey with a nice ball over the top. Nice ball by Sheedy. I don't know what that call was. Apparently, if you touch someone for five seconds, it's a penalty. Restart, you just have to step on the ball. Go to McAleve off her foot. Oh, I oh, just could have been in on that. There's McAleve tracking back. Over to Grippy. I love Grippy. And the ball bounces up and hits her in the hand. Unintentional, but still a handball. 325 left to go in this quarter, the third. We're tied at one. Both score both both goals scored late in the first quarter. Here's Sheedy. Here's Grippy. There's play on, that's an advantage. <laughs> My goodness. Can't change all the rules. Nice job, number 10, closing down Ajavon. Took one for the team there. Megan McNeil waiting to check in the game, number 24 for Quincy. Pitta. Over to McAlevey. McAlevey dangerous, so back to Pitta. Pitta to McAlevey. Back to Pitta. Nice run, ball across. And uh, nice defensive play by... Quincy, 2.16 left to go here in the quarter. It's a corner kick here for North Quincy. In the 
Pitta. Back to Smith. No one, no one up uh, high. That should, uh, that should never come out. Nackley well, gets nutmeg. Here comes Folan. Folan was a, a, a threat in that first half. Every time she touched the ball, she was a threat. 24 still waiting to come in the game. Don't know why the official's not letting her come in. Maybe it's one of those new rules. Oh, he sees her. And here she comes. 115 left in the quarter. Nice, nice, nicely struck ball. Sharp and crisp on the on the on the uh, ground. North Quincy uh, hits the ball out of bounds and it'll be restarted by number 16, Isabella Hanley. Again, Isabella Senior. North well, Quincy players checking for the ball. Nicely done. Gets across to um, oh, great, great uh, knockdown by Smith. Mary Beth Smith sticks. And here comes Kira Murphy. Over to Sheedy. Sheedy. Casey Pettigrew Lynch does a nice job of recovering as North Quincy had a breakout there. Nice pass to Sheedy. That'll be offside. Yep. And that should be the end of the quarter. Clock had run down to zero and they put two minutes back up. I don't know what they're doing. And there's the whistle. That's the end of the third quarter here at Veterans Memorial Stadium with uh, the score nodded at one. Um, Again, a well-played uh, quarter. Both teams, again, had good chances, but you couldn't quite finish. Um, been a problem for Quincy and North Quincy teams uh, throughout the years. So again, uh, as I said at halftime, it's usually the team that scores first that wins these type of games. And uh, I'm going to stick to that with uh, the score tied at one here, entering the last quarter. Comes down to conditioning uh, many times. Uh, sometimes your legs go, and when your legs go, you can't get to the ball. And if you can't get to the ball, you can't play with it. So we'll see how the conditioning is for both teams here and see if that's a factor here in the last quarter with the game tied at one. Nope, there goes Kevin Mahoney, cleaning the ball. There are balls all, all around the field. So if the ball goes out of bounds, one of those other balls will be put in play. Kevin's just being, just doing what he's told to do, whether it makes sense or not. So again, we're entering the last quarter here. Um, the last time these two teams met was last year. And in that game, uh, North uh, broke a, um, a streak of, um, let's see, seven losses in a row to Quincy. Um, and they uh, beat uh Quincy at Creighton Field, three to two. Uh, it was a very exciting game. <laughs> North Quincy does have the overall lead in the series, um, a lot to a little. Um, but again, these two teams here are evenly matched, and this match could go either way.
About a minute to go before we start the uh, fourth quarter. And I hope they start it quickly because I have to be at a budget subcommittee meeting at 6 o'clock. I don't understand why they have two minutes in between. We just turned it around and played. There actually is a decent crowd here. I would guesstimate close to 75 people. And there's the horn. I think North will have the kickoff in this last quarter. Dullab Harper is going to be starting the uh, last quarter for North Quincy. Number five here uh, on the left flank. Pitter and uh, Sheedy up front. And on the right side is uh, Kara Murphy. Ball goes to McAlevey looking for Murphy on the right side. And Kara can't quite catch up to it. Uh, Isabella Hanley does a nice job of tracking the ball back. Nice turn. Quincy has, uh, has some nice skills. Nice play by 22. There's a miss hit by Smith, and uh, Kennedy uh, steps up and saves the day. Here's the ball with a Murphy. The miss judges it, and the ball runs out of bounds. Here's Folan. Delbaba closes. Nice out by Kennedy. And here comes Sheedy. Nice shot by Sheedy. And it's in the net. Whoa, what a shot by Teresa Sheedy. Her third goal of the year. I think that uh, caught uh, the Quincy keeper by surprise. And at the 1857 mark of the last quarter, North Quincy jumps on top, two to one. Here's Michaela Kennedy. Brings the ball down out of the air. Kira Golden. Here's Sheedy. Looking uh Pitta. Ball is off of the uh, president player. Number eight for uh, Quincy is Amelia Henry. She's waiting to come in the game. Nice one two there on the sideline. Close quarters. And that ball is off number twenty one, Maddie Powers. And Henry comes in. And she replaces Folan. Nice turn here by Powers. Henry, back to 16, Isabella Hanley. Nice step up by, I think it's Melanie Cretion. Nice ball across. And a good out by Michaela Kennedy. Again, ball bouncing around in the area. That's dangerous. Again, uh, the North Quincy defenders are uh, looking at each other instead of playing through the ball. Uh, again, a communication has been an issue. Ball knocked out by McAlevey, I believe. 
Nice left foot up to uh, Pitta. Pitta with a break. Looking for Sheedy again. Sheedy in a foot race with number three. Keep a way out. North Quincy gets the ball at their foot. Uh, they can put a ball up over the top. And Pitta does it. There's Melanie Cretion. Pitta checking back. Nice job of defending. Wow. And that took the advantage away from Quincy. It's a bad rule. Because this whole thing doesn't make sense. Kids should be in school. Nice play by Kira Murphy. Kira's had a nice game over there on the right outside midfield spot for North Quincy. She's a sophomore. She steps up again, knocks the ball out of bounds. We'll see if North Quincy brings another defender back or brings one of the midfielders back uh, to play a little more defensive. Number 21, Amaya Davis is coming in the game. Amaya's a junior. Maybe her first appearance. Again, Murphy, strong to the ball. Nice, nice moves over there on the left side. Can't see a number, but Ms. McAlevey, see that number, number nine. Catherine Shaughnessy battling Murphy, and there's going to be a foul called. Unbelievable. If they call that foul on Shaughnessy, that's egregious. That's awful. And they did. That's that's horrible. Ball McAlevey, McAlevey to Sheedy. And she can't bring it down. Nice ball in the area by McAlevey to Teresa Sheedy. Sheedy again, knocks the ball down. Again, nonstop hustle by Teresa Sheedy. And Quincy uh, is going to get a restart, far sideline. Again, they took the advantage away from Quincy. And some of the uh, parents are saying, I don't know about that one. And uh, I agree. See, North has five in the back right now. Knocked down. Oh, that ball's over her head. And she gets a finger on it and tips it. Tallarico may be a little bit too far off her line. That ball is struck from about 35 yards out. And we have substitutes for both teams. Del Bob is coming out. And Davis is coming out for Quincy. Ball misstruck there. Maddie Powers, nice play on the ball. Nice cut back. Ball's out of bounds. A North Quincy ball. If you, if you can interpret that for me, you're a better person than I. I don't know what happened on that.
No, she just pull up right here. Not allow a second touch. Tallarico knocks it away. Nice play by Cretion once again. Nelly Cretion, one heck of a little player for a sophomore. Tough, quick, good skills. And fearless. Tight quarters they'd be playing one touch. Ball should be played across and it is. Knocked down. Well done. But again, they took the advantage away from North Quincy. <laughs> you let the foul go, you play on. Nice play by Michaela Kennedy. They gotta hit that ball long. Nice job by Cretion to make a recovery run. Quick restart by Quincy. Nice pass, looking for Pitta. Quincy's pushing all their uh, backs up into the uh, offensive end. So the ball gets through, it's going to be another breakaway. The North can't control. There's a ball into the area. Mary Beth Smith. And nice job by Mary Beth Smith. Let the ball run out of bounds, uh, keeping Lauren Medeiros away from it. Medeiros, a dangerous player for Quincy. Scored the first goal and only goal for the Presidents today. You gotta go to right side on this. Everybody on the left. Here's Sheedy again. Uh, just miss hits it. That ball was uh, looking to go over the top. Number three, nice play by Maddie Powers. Maddie Powers has some wheels. And there's Sheedy again. Abrahamovich doing some great work on the right side. And she gets called for a push. Quincy to restart. They want to restart quickly. They're running out of time here. 9.27 left in the quarter. 9.27 left in the game. Again, no sense of urgency here. Nine minutes to go. Less than half a quarter. Ball runs out of bounds, and that's Fiona Smith tracking the ball back. Quick restart. They should change the point of attack here. They look for Sheedy. Ball pushed forward. And again, North has the advantage, and they take it away. Oh, boy. Nice play by the Red Raiders. Nice step there by the Quincy President's defender. I don't like the way North is playing their defense there. Uh, they don't have enough players back right now. All it takes is one through ball. That, that was definitely a push. Eight minutes to go in the game. 2-1, the Red Raiders on top of the Presidents. Thanks to Teresa Sheedy's uh, goal. Ball wide, no one there. Here's Smith, Mary Beth plays the left footed, out of bounds. Lindsay Hatfield, number four, to put it in play. With Kira Gold on number 22. And a nice run by number, look like 18, I'm not sure, 22. Plays it off of, I think it was uh, number 21, Maddie Powers. Yep. And it's going to be a Quincy, quote, corner kick. 
We're going to do with three girls in the box. North plays it out, but not out. Oh. Uh, and the North's got to get to those balls. Ball off for of Jamie Collins. Mary Beth, Mary Beth Smith knocks it out. Six minutes and 30 seconds to go, and that's going to be a corner kick. Oh, my bad. It's a goal kick. Substitution for the North Quincy Red Raiders. I believe this is Kara Murphy checking back in the game. And she's going to replace Jamie Collins. Jamie is sophomore. Nice struck by Tallarico. Second ball. Got to get it. Abrahamovich. Nice turn. Nice defense by Shaughnessy. And it's going to be uh, no social distancing there. So they're going to get the ball to Quincy. That was Kira Golden, number 22. I'm sorry. North has everybody marked in the box. Oh, you hit that one touch out. Sheedy got to uh, do a better job checking back the ball. 16 with the ball. Nice job by Sheedy. Recovery run, awesome job. Here comes Pitta. Nice turn by Pitta. Gets by Hatfield, and the ball gets played across. And we're looking for Murphy, and Murphy again just can't quite catch up to it. Kara's gonna make that diagonal run across the field and not straight down the field. Here's Pitta with the ball. Good strong player. Ball played out to number 22, Kara Golden. Kara's dangerous. And a nice step up. Number 14 in the game, Grace Akara for the Presidents. 434 left in the game. And Quincy's pushing everybody up, as they should. Nice play. It's a nice shot. And Tallarico reads the play well, cuts it off, and keeps the ball from going to the far post. Let's hit the ball right, wide right. Head. Whoop. Can't do that this year. Catherine Shaughnessy. Nice head, Catherine. Three fifty-three to go. Mary Beth Smith to put the ball in play. She's going to hit it long. Nice ball. Looking for Murphy. Murphy does a nice job of shielding as the ball runs out of bounds with the uh, ball deep in Quincy High School's territory in their uh, defensive third. The 22 is wide open here on the left flank for Quincy. Nice turn. Oh! Great save by Gatora, cutting off that post. And there's a push from behind. Three oh one to go. I'm not sure if they have timeouts this year in, in this game. This would be a good time to take one for uh, Coach Coleman. And Bridget played at DePaul out in um, Ohio. There's a nice run by Kira Murphy. She's got Sheedy with her. A little too far ahead. Diagonal run to the corner by Sheedy would have been appropriate there. Uh, ball comes off the foot. Bad angle, and the ball goes out of bounds. 2.23 to go in the game. Again, Quincy with three forwards up. And number 18 for uh, Quincy is uh, Casey Pettigrew Lynch. He's had a nice game today uh, as a defender. Come on, 
Nice job by uh, Pitta to close on that ball. Paige Grippy looking for McAlevey. Nice shield there. The handball, again, inadvertent. North has got to push a whole bunch of people back. They don't need, they don't need uh, three forwards up now. They have the goal, the, uh, one goal lead. Keep it in, here we go. Nice left foot. Nice try by uh, Cretion. 18 to restart, Kitty Pettigrew Lynch. Nice uh, outside foot uh, volley by Kennedy. Ball changed the point of attack, and is McAlevey by herself going down the right side, or is that Murphy? That's Murphy. Kira bringing it deep to the corner, and the ball goes off of Murphy's foot. But now uh, Quincy has to come 100 yards down the field, so it's not a bad play. Nice job by McAlevey to keep the ball in. Is Murphy. Murphy trying to play the cross off the Quincy high foot. Now North Quincy needs to slow it down to a trot. No rush to put the ball back in play here with the one goal lead. Time is on their side. Time and score. And there's a whistle and that's the end of the ball game. But North Quincy coming out on top, two to one, on the strength of Teresa Sheedy's uh, fourth quarter goal. Um, the Red Raiders and the Quincy Presidents put on a great show today. Um, goal scorers for the Red Raiders uh, in the first quarter, Jamie McAleaf from about 30 yards out, and uh, Laura Medeiros matched that about 40 seconds later from about the same distance. And then Sheedy in the last quarter picked her head up, saw the keeper off her line and knocked the ball in from about 35, 40 yards out. So we had a lot of shots from deep that uh, found the back of the net. All three goals as a matter of fact. Um, but it was a well played game. Both teams were very evenly matched. And my prediction came true. The uh, first team to score a goal uh, in that second half was gonna win the game. And North Quincy did come out on top. So great game, both sides. Uh, well played, well coached. Um, and I'm glad you uh, tuned in. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we are going to be coming back with another uh, Quincy Access Television production of soccer. Uh, the boys are going to be following this game. Um, and they're going to be videotaping that. And... Uh, be playing that uh, hopefully by the end of the week and uh, so again final score here at Veterans Memorial Stadium North Quincy Red Raiders 2 Quincy Presidents 1 thank you and good night